So as I was saying, um, <laughs> we uh, we went in the house and we borrowed a, uh, a measuring cup, and she asked me if I wanted my very own. Um, so anyway, a half a cup, half a cup, or about four ounces of uh, condescent goes into one of these. Yeah, O-rings work a lot better with a little tiny bit of lube on them. All right, now we're ready to go put this in line. Now, instead of putting mine up by my bottle, I, I have the bottles uh, in the back behind here. They're not always out in the open. I want to go ahead and set this right here. It can hang right here in the front of my machine. I can see it every day whenever I go to turn the thing on and off. Uh, so that's kind of my thinking here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut my line right there. I can always change this and everything I'm doing up right now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and slip a hose clamp up here. And it uh, doesn't matter which way, i got filters going both directions on this thing. Uh, and just like I was pointing out, the, uh, the particles in the condescent are small enough to fall through a regular household screen. So I don't want them to travel through the line up into the torch and get into that area as well. Still got a lot of changes to do in my shop here, and uh, you're always moving stuff around. And uh, this isn't gonna hurt anything hanging right here. There we go. All right. Ready to go. We'll purge some gas in there now. together what we actually learned over the weekend here and uh, that is that we can rejuvenate our desiccant we can bring it back to life and we can reuse it and uh, so we don't have to buy new desiccant every time uh, we also know that my rod oven that never gets used is good for something and works fine um, we did Saturday we we did a slow cook of 225 degrees or so for about six hours and we were able to cure the batch we put back into the uh, canister and we're gonna see if that works as well as it, it, it did brand new how long the duration time to, to turn uh, mauve again we've learned a little bit about changing that color uh, they somewhere around 10 12 percent uh, absorption um, so, you know, we've, we know that it can absorb a lot more even after it turn, starts turning its color. Uh, but we also know that you can dry it a little bit more than just getting that blue back. Uh, you can, I have seen signs inside uh, of the burnt, uh, if it was extended length of uh, heat, it does tend to burn the uh, condescent, yeah, um, desiccant. Um, <laughs> you'll notice that a couple times I've, I've missed on the word there and it said condescent. I'm, you know, basically talking the same, same language there. And um, then today uh, we did the, the quick dry at 300 degrees. That's the top on my oven there. For, uh, it, it went just about four hours, um, but I, th I think it was ready at three. 
and we <clears throat> we also vacuum sealed it and we're going to be testing and finding out how long that will last and also we went ahead and vacuum sealed our small uh, container we just opened up to fill our uh, condescent uh, canister for the uh, the argon gases at the TIG torch. A um, little overbuilt, <laughs> maybe, uh, but it was a fun project and it included uh, turning some plastics and some PVC. Um, did have a crash there, a mishap there. Uh, we got to play with our our plasma cam, cutting out a pattern and uh, quickly uh, just bolting it right on there and having it work out really nice and I mean for a rough uh, shape off of there it did pretty good. Now I like a, a little feedback here. Um, uh, I'm a fair minded uh, uh, person. I don't have a hub here where I have uh, credit card capabilities or things like that. Um, but I'd be uh, willing to stake uh, my reputation as a fair person and um, uh, set up a, um, a video right after this. Uh, and uh, we'll give a close glimpse and uh, photos of these two uh, uh, descant uh, holders and, uh, and uh, proceed with a bid um, uh, for ownership and uh, limit it to uh, uh, the YouTubers, uh, my subscribers. Um, and you can also subscribe at the same time to get in. Let my comment page do the bidding and uh, set a certain time on it. Uh, and uh, create a little competition and put these two up for sale. Uh, I don't know what uh, your thoughts might be. Hey, let me hear them. Alright, catch you guys later. Get her done.